Hey YouTube, and welcome to vlog number 13. Ah, uh, what's with friends? It used to be my phone, now I'm fucking working with friends. Sometimes all we gotta make right Anyway, um, Grandma's doing better. I'm feeling better. No headache, something better. Um, Um, I'm missing the seven, doing the seven love bunny tell, you know, we're on break till the first of the year. And I didn't think I would miss making a video every week. But I do. I miss you, bunny boy. I miss you, miss you, miss you. Anyway. Um. I got... I don't like dwelling on negative, and y'all know that about me. I don't dwell on negative if I don't have to. But I got probably one of the rudest comments from someone that claimed to be a friend. I mean, I just honestly could not get over it. Yeah. Shut up. Anyway. Yeah. Somebody asked me, said, uh, they asked if I was gay because of all the gay films and on my webs on my YouTube channel and some of the things that I say in some of my videos. And uh, they asked me if I was gay and I said, would, and, and you know, of course, the first, my first question out of my mouth is, what does it matter? And, uh, this person says, well, you, if you're a dyke, I want to know. I said, well, number one, why would you use a derogatory term to, to speak of somebody? Because I've never, ever, ever in my life called my lesbian friends dykes. I just think that's, that, that's up there equal to calling a gay man a faggot and I just that's just not words I'll use anyway I said in number two no I said I'm a straight ally to the LGBT community I said I'm straight but I believe that everybody should be allowed to love who they love and be who they are and she said well don't you and then she got on, on that uh same Christian soapbox that a lot of Christians get on about well it's a sin and it's an abomination and started quoting Leviticus okay I'm sorry uh, I proceeded to tell her okay if you're gonna if you're gonna sling the pieces of the Bible that you choose to believe at me I, we can't talk no more and I'm gonna talk to her in a couple of days Anyway, sorry I got her sugar. Anyway, so it's false to say she was really mad at me because, you know, granted, you know, I was brought up in church. But my grandmother, who's about as, as holy roller as they come, never ever judged the homosexuals in our family. My cousin Rita was an out and proud lesbian. You couldn't get more out of the house than her. But, you know, we didn't condemn her. We didn't we didn't say we could nobody could talk to her and do that just because she was a lesbian. We loved her because she was family. We loved her just because she was Rita and no other reason. Grandma said, Whatever whatever is between her and God is between her and God. She said, all I know is she's my niece and I'm going to love her regardless. I said, I don't understand why everybody can't get that. If your family, your friend, whatever comes out, they are the same person they were the second before they came out of the closet. They didn't change. The only thing that changed was that you now know 
that they were born to like boys or they were born to like girls or they feel like they're trapped in the wrong body. You know, it's just, they, you know, people say you're not born that way. Well, you are. You just, it just takes a while for people to accept themselves for who they are. Then again, that's just my straight opinion. Anyway, I've rambled on for five and a half minutes. Oh my fucking god. Anyway, I love you guys. Mwah. Stay sweet. I'll see y'all tomorrow. Bye, bitches. Hopefully tomorrow will be better. I promise. Bye.